Man, okay. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm live or not, and then we can get uh, rolling. Basically, let me just make sure that everything works. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, I can see the video. Uh, let me get the chat up that um, I can actually see your messages. Uh, come on, pop out. Thank you very much. This is, goes right. This goes left. Cool. Um, all right. I guess we're live and we can get cracking. Um, so hello everyone, how's it going? Team here and uh, this is yet another live stream for building products with JavaScript or I guess in this case building data science with JavaScript. Hopefully today we're gonna finish um, UI and REST, basically what we started last time. We've, um, I mean, we've done most of the work, right? So we prepared everything, the data is there now and the whole thing runs and we have the database, we have the connection to it, we have the test data, and we implemented the simple um, UI that just rendered the list of things, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, open editors for our REST and for UI as well. So I guess I need to increase the size of that a bit. There we go, that looks better. Um, unfold it to full screen. The last time we uh, fetched the data and we actually displayed a list of stuff, right? So I'm gonna go over here, open a new development tab, and then I'm gonna start rest. Um, was it yarn start? I already don't remember honestly, but uh, we're gonna see uh, uh, how long gonna be. Okay, um, let me see. So it was yarn mongo volume, right? So we start the mongo with our volume. Yarn start, that should start working. No, we need rabbitmq. Yarn rabbit start and yarn mongo volume, right? Uh, no, we already have volume. Uh, so I will have to apologize because today I have a pretty annoying headache and I just took some painkillers, so I might not be very, you know, as, as fast in, in, in thinking and in implementing things that I need to be as a usually, so because I'm a bit under weather. But uh, hopefully that won't stop us too much from uh, doing what we're supposed to do. So I think it's yarn dev here. No, it's not. Um, can I find package JSON? Ah, right, because I'm not in the UI. Yarn dev over here. And um, there we go. We are building that stuff. Cool. Um, localhost eighty eighty is what we want, and there's our data. Uh, some of them doesn't really have titles for whatever reason, which is a bit weird. Um, I guess let me increase the size to one hundred fifty, and do the same for Dev Tools, uh, so that you can actually see what's going on. Right. Okay, refresh and let's have a look at the data here. So here's our um. God, that was um yeah. oh yeah right the data will be fetched on um server side right you don't actually get to see it which is uh, okay i can live with that we can we can figure it out um we can we can actually have a look at this right oh it's it's a good point to try a new firefox so if you haven't heard there's a new firefox just out the new quantum engine there we go okay let me size a bit 70 should be nice and actually yeah that's a pretty nice way to display json here okay cool so um basically what we're interested in is to render this information in some way that is useful for users right so this is the trickiest part and uh, where you would probably as a data scientist spend most of the time trying to figure out how exactly to first of all clean data because this is like 80 percent of the work i guess <laughs> It's honestly the longest uh, thing that you will probably be doing. And then you're gonna spend a lot of time uh, trying to figure out how how do you visualize that, right? So in our case, uh, what is interesting is that we have keywords, which means we can do a uh, keyword cloud, right? So we're gonna, gonna use D3GS, I think. Um, keyword cloud um, I think it's just word cloud there but um, d3 cloud so if you haven't used d3gs it's basically a very powerful visualization library um, it's not just for charts or 
or data or for whatever, it's actually just an SVG based thing that you can use to render just about anything. So it has a billion of examples and very good documentation. And the latest version is very straightforward. I mean, the previous versions were kind of hard to understand sometimes, but the latest one is very cool. And it allows you to do some very, very awesome visualizations. Like, and I think pretty much, you know, any um, great visualization you will see online will use either D3GS or something uh, self-baked actually blocking some scripts. No, I'm not blocking scripts. Okay, I'm curious. It should be interactive, actually. Maybe I am blocking something. Let me try to disable this. And it seems to be only blocking the, you call it the analytics stuff. Okay, but whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, and there are basically examples with, uh, you know, data format and the format of the code itself. We're gonna we're gonna use D3GS. And for that, I'm going to go into UI. I'm going to yarn ads. The question is, is it D3GS or is it just D3? D3, wait, that's not what I want to do. Uh, yeah, it's just D3. D3. There you go. So we're going to add D3GS and uh, we are going to... I wonder... I mean, we don't really need a view-specific thing, right? View D3GS clouds. I wonder... If there's even, I mean, theoretically, view D3 is, um, you can just tap into the mount method in a view JS and uh, bootstrap it ourselves, right? Obviously, if there's better way of doing it, uh, this D3, ah, it's just patches in D3 into the components. Uh, I guess we don't really need that, right? So just go with uh, proper D3. Okay, so we're gonna import D3 from Right. Uh, one downside of view files that I found, even though you know you have everything in one package, uh, the syntax or the plugins that I usually work in, in code, for example, and uh, prettier do not really work here well. So it's kind of slightly annoying. Okay, um, we can, how do I install it? Is it on NPM package? D3 cloud. Yes, it is. Yarn add D3. Okay. Um, import cloud from cloud. Yes, yeah, dash cloud. Okay. Now let's have a look at the examples, right? So this is what we're interested in. Nodes. Uh, sure, why not? So we use the canvas. We don't care about canvas in this case. So we require cloud. Oh, I don't even need D3 in this case. Is that what it says? Uh, blah, 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 is it examples, reference D3 layout cloud. Okay, yeah, so we do this D3 layout cloud. Um, I guess, wait, let's have a, I mean, we need a browser example, right? So in this case, uh, we need mounted. Yes, this is what we want. And in mounted case, we're gonna say, Okay, so there's go. We got the D3, we got the cloud. Still, yeah, why not? Let's just take the example here. Oh, yes, Lin doesn't seem to work as well in the view components, which is meh. in raw words. Okay, so we get all of that stuff. I uh, know, you know what? We're not going to get all of that stuff. We're just going to get the layout first and see yeah, how that works out. So, okay, layout is our layout created from cloud. It's gonna be size 500 by 500, so it sounds fine. Right, so next we need words, um, which means that we can fill, okay, so we don't need that anymore. It actually formats something at least. Okay, I, I had an impression that Prettier doesn't really work here. Right, so we need words, which means this data, map right so there's gonna be words data is article right so we need to return article and then we need to create words from article it means we take keywords so article keywords uh keywords and we have article um extracted words right and then we have article key phrases key phrases 
Okay, so what we need to do is we need to map. Um, oh, I think those are just strings already, right? Uh, this is one string. Okay, so we need to actually split that by uh, comma space. This way we'll get an array of keywords, right? Okay, then we concatenate that with article keywords that we map to keywords and um, keyword keyword. Okay, so pretty straightforward. It, nope. And then we concat that to key phrases, which we map to phrase, phrase, uh, I imagine that would be Q phrase, yes. Okay, okay, so prettier does work. It didn't work for me the last time. Maybe there was some problem with it. Uh, maybe it updated and now supports. I'm not sure what was wrong. But okay, now it's to, it seems to be working. Okay, so this is gonna return us array of arrays of keywords, right? And in this, that. There we go. Okay, and then we need to reduce that. Um, um, so there's gonna be accumulator, there's gonna be current value. Let's say accumulator, concat, current value, right? And then we start with it. This is gonna be our words and uh, uh, this is gonna be words. They actually map it. Uh, text D size ten math random ninety. Okay, I guess you basically have to calculate this size yourself. Which means we need to. Um, okay, I want. I mean, for now we can just do this. Then we need to. Um, Format that right, so we need to. Oh, so hard to think. Okay, so we need to basically take the same words and then uh, increase the score by one each time it appears, right? And I guess means is keywords, so we need to map them to object actually. Word is going to be a, and then uh, in this case we have score, right? Whoops. Wrong. Or is gonna be one. So let's weight them as one as the biggest ones. In this case means we don't need to map this, but we do need to map that, right? So we say keyword is gonna be key phrase and then score is gonna be P score. Or we're done. Right, I think that should be it. Size is gonna be this is gonna be D keyword. This is gonna be D score multiplied by ten. By fifty would be more precise because we get from zero to one, uh, and I guess ten plus D score from fifty in case there's a super small sizes, so we're not gonna go smaller than ten. And we draw that, and then okay, we say layout start. Okay, and then uh, we have this draw function, which we should by somewhere can be over here, for example. Draw is going to be words. Reselect body, append SVG. Um, it's fine. So basically, this what this does is it takes the D3 method, it selects the body, appends an SVG to it with a given we uh, with an height. This case, we actually should or quotes pick gonna be five hundred. Hey, this five hundred. So this is actually this should be word cloud config with. This is gonna be word cloud config. Hey, right? That uh, let's see actually replace that for an arrow function. Whoops, uh, that is. I am missing keys. This is not working out quite as well as I hoped would, it would be, but um, you know, we're gonna roll with it. So we have this fill thing. Good form. Wait that, yes. Station and then D text. Gonna be Sending text node to it. Basically, yeah. 
Okay, um, we're not depending on layout. That looks fine. So we now use layout star. We have the draw function here on end. Right, so now here's the question. Will that work or did I do something up? I'll find out in a second. Can I read property scale of undefined? Um, okay, so first of all, uh, we eight. What is scale? E three scale category. Okay, aha. D three is not imported. Um. Okay. E three JS uh, webpack. Is there any special way of using it? Code like a girl. That sounds like a great site. Uh, great name for a website. Uh, why not? Let us code like a girl for once. Path resolve loader Babel exclude. Okay, so this is Babel loader. Um. Now webpack run application install d3.js yes install d3.js import all is the okay so it's exports a bunch of named exports i guess uh cannot read property scale of undefined not yet again okay the question is d3 clouds maybe not the d3 is a problem Punch can read property category 20 of undefined. You are running view and development mode. Okay, so this is this is D3 and it seems to be imported correctly. This is cloud. I guess we need to apply it somehow. Cloud. No, but I mean, we're using it this way, right? Here we go. Yeah, we have this cloud thing. D3 scale, okay, I guess maybe this is for older D3 version. Two years ago, yeah, okay, that is definitely outdated example. Um, 10 months ago, I guess it should be compatible with, um, uh, should be compatible with, um, what do you call it, with the new version, right? Here an interactive demo. Okay, yeah, that, that looks fine. The question is, Uh, paste your text below new page source let's have a look um code here i can see d3 min which version is that that is the latest version and where's the code that does all the magic what we're interested in um a workout blah 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 this is text area yeah, the button and where's the main code? It takes out min JS. You find everything this way. Courses cloud min JS. It looks like it really is a minified bit. We parse text. Okay, so there we go. Tag and okay, so this is generation tag. Okay, process draw. Right, let us try to find how did he do that. This is PNG download, we're not interested in. You know what, maybe I'll just find a better plugin. More up-to-date plugin, let's call it this. 3GS, um, out. Because this is kind of a pain in ass. For cloud implementation. Oh wait, there is even an uh, example from them. Looks a bit messy, but out uh size okay in this case they use a different thing color so what is this color and where does it so wait a few. first of all this fill fill is a parameter somewhere here okay what if we remove that we don't really need that right do without fill and read property category 20 you don't have that property anymore i just removed it Lit of undefined. Um, I guess this is a problem with our data, right? 256. Yeah, okay. So in this case, it cannot split the extracted keywords that are not there or am I hearing? Yeah, no, it should be a string, right? Filter. So we're gonna filter K so that K length. 
basically we want only the keywords that are actually real Married property keywords of undefined um okay we're gonna this way now you should be happy right of undefined what um how is this like what so basically it's this but okay additional data cleaning needed it seems data of undefined like app of undefined now what there are sometime key phrases really okay now i am confused let me log i'm gonna do it this way earn earn yes Close, it's gonna be this. Something is it? Return this stuff, yes. Match article. Okay, right, so we're gonna see oats, bunch, yes. Eight words, key phrases, okay, extracted keywords. All of that stuff is here. As at some point, I read property map of undefined. We don't have it. Okay, so basically, in this case, we have to filter article so that article keywords or article phrases, article uh, extracted keywords, right? We want to have at least one of them. Means we concat with this. Or array gonna be you know not exactly the prettiest code you'll see but uh, that should work that's like this okay every property map of undefined um so where do you Sample sixty. Yeah, come on! I just build already. Keywords of undefined. Uh, oh, right. Because uh, double check this. Whoops. And this close. Oh, there we go. Time. Now it is not defined. Oh right, because I misnamed it. This log. Ah, okay. Rebuilt and hey, there we go. And I can't. No. Is it frozen now? Is I break everything? <laughs> okay. Um. Please no. Is there's too many keywords? Is that what's happening? Let's see. So I'm gonna return here. Okay, console log keywords. See words. Telling yes, successful reload that stuff. And there's two thousand keywords. That is way too many. Okay, so we we definitely need to reduce that. Um, okay, so what we do with words is now const um, the word map, then we do words for each. So we would say if for word map word exists, we say Score. No, yes, that's correct. Okay, score, right? So we will append the score. Otherwise, we'll say all K score. Essentially, we generate the um, hash map, which maps the keywords to their scores 
unique keywords. Uh, and then in this case, we should say object keys map. And so that actually words just check how many unique keywords in there because if there's like as many unique as there's non unique. Uh, can I create property score on number one? Oh, right, okay. Idiot. No, I'm not. Yeah, that is what I'm doing. I'll reload and okay, down to 682. That is still a lot, but already better. So, uh, which means, okay, you know what? So, this. First step, get all keywords with scores, right? Feel right now. Okay. Calculate scores for unique keywords. Right. And after that, we have to take all that and convert it to array, right? So word map. Yep, thank you very much. On stop words, uh, let's just put it this way. Gonna map the keys, gonna be keyword, to once again array. It's gonna have keyword, and I have score, which equals word map from keyword, right? I'm gonna sort that stuff. A sorted B score minus A score, so descending. I might miss mess up the sort because I always do that. <laughs> so we are, um, you know, that might be a problem, but we'll see. And then we're just gonna take top 50, for example. Words. I'm gonna see if that actually. Okay, we got a top 50 words, and, and uh, yeah, that seems to be all right. There are some very small it's yeah, okay, there are some terrible keywords in there. We are gonna filter that. Uh, clean up again. Returning to the fact that you spend most of your time cleaning up the data. Uh, so we're gonna clean it by keyword length larger than say two. Not saying this is gonna be good, but I think that should give us a better result. We theoretically need a blacklist as well. Uh, maybe we want to, maybe we want to, yeah, I guess stop words like you are, it's, okay, let's let us implement stop words functionality. Stop words. Okay, is there, um, Common English stop words. Thanks and L. That's is the main. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's uh. Old English stop word list. I have like it's and everything. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I guess a way to download this as old English text. Or a CSV or something. Ah, uh, there's not. Press three. I don't want. Ah. Um, stop words. Default English stop word list. CSV. Thank you very much. Raw. Okay. Um, second non name source file. Oh, those. This is CSV of files. English and we need I guess we need to read the description first. Uh no stop word removals, short list of form slang, stop words you like common example, postgres, text figure, default snowball stop list. What is that? Uh yeah, that looks fine. Okay, let's take this. So okay. Uh, Gonna create a folder components. Uh, I think wait a second. So there are 
Nuxjs was having problems today. Okay, they fixed it. <laughs> the docs weren't available for like two days, which is a bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, directory structure. We have components, layouts, middleware, this plugin or okay. So we're gonna use components and I'm gonna say stopwords js. Um stop words, this is gonna be we're gonna export default. And I'm gonna just do this, right? And <clears throat> we're gonna take this split and by slash n, and then we're gonna have a nice array of stop words essentially. Okay, um, so we are gonna import stop words from component stop words, right? And now we're gonna filter our stuff. A, um, so first of all, we actually need to do this to ace, right? And all the keys to be lowercase. Whatever comes first, it doesn't matter, but they need to be lowercase because the case sensitivity is kind of bonkers. Okay, so we take the keywords and we check if uh, keyword is, we need stop words, includes keywords. So, and we want that it does not include, right? So now the results should be even better. File, refresh. Okay, destiny game, uh, it still has its, or is it has like this, not the apostrophe, is that like, at a random, Oh, come on. Okay. Gonna... So it has. Yes, I guess we have to replace. Oh, data cleaning is such a pain in ass. Um, right. Replace. So we're going to replace that. This thing. Yes, to replace it globally, right? We're going to replace it with um, one. There we go. Okay. Compile this. Thank you very much. Now we should not have this. It's still there. Okay. Um, about this. Better. A couple of times to make sure, and it is still there. Hi. It's in the stop words, right? It's. Yes, it is in stop words. Um, confused right now, but let let us check. Or replace replace this thing with this thing. Yes. Goods. Why? Okay. First of all, log stop words. Let's see how the stop words look. Fresh. Yes. So we have our. It's stop word in here. Okay, cool. Now, question, filter function. Turn this, there, and then WG, okay, and then cons, LWG, right? Okay, there's our it's, yeah, and let's let this see if it's included or not in the stop word. Fresh, true, so false. Okay, so why is it in the final thing? Now, filter. Okay, so it should filter it out, right? Not. It doesn't make any sense. I maybe my headache is driving me mad, but I why is it in a final data set? Right. Um. I mean, we can again. We can do this right. Filter. Okay. Stop words. 
yes so let's everything yes thank you very much refresh so destiny game players bond you one game first time destiny story review happens player dower happen activision campaign guardians mission gaming gear okay that looks better um not particularly good but you know all comes down to the way that you use the keyword extraction but that should be fine okay so we got our top words now we need to build the layout at the top words so we don't render the whole whole thing uh so we only will render the top 50 words which efficient for us this compiled refresh and uh, uh that is very little number of words okay what am i missing uh, so size frequency on size d size okay yeah so size this there uh draw draw the and i guess we can modify our draw here uh this is draw okay append svg so this is the width height attribute class word cloud this is, doesn't matter append d yes transform translate okay amplifies this translate ah okay no translate is actually derived from the sizes so we're all correct select all text data words provide the words do we pass in the correct words here yeah okay top words that's good enter append text is good style font size fill okay so he just returns this color i okay let us do this fill and then we return color i and where does the color come from probably okay this is color yeah we can we can copy paste this function um color there we go that um what great property linear of undefined rescale fine i importing the wrong thing here i mean i might at this point just do that so we might i mean main problem here is that we're it tries to render it on the server side right and fails because um fails because it tries to load the d3 i'm having troubles saying things today so it tries to load this the d3.js server side and fails because uh, basically i guess it doesn't load the enough parts for the client side so we need to circumvent that and one way of doing it is creating a custom layout uh default view let us layout okay rename that layouts default view and uh, we're gonna do this right okay um play do we i uh, guess pages play script you include script tags html head do meta to update headers and so on and so forth default meta l custom meta tags for a page okay I guess we don't need layouts uh so this is not about we need to be able to add the header tag and uh, let you define all default meta for your application nuxt config js okay. let's create nuxt config js and then uh where is the development configuration what we want adds okay module add ah, this is what you want a header um title template okay uh yes whatever and then char set viewport okay meta and then was there was an example of as you just was an example of adding the link i guess we want the script right hey isn't it right yeah it isn't right 
say source. So theoretically, I'm I'm not not sure if that's gonna work. Oh, he does uses D3JS v3 in there. Okay, wait, maybe I am overcomplicating it. Configjs maybe. We just take D3 version three, which makes me a bit sad. I mean, I want to use the latest one because. Uh, Way, it has a way nicer API basically. On the D3JS version 3. Okay. Uh, 5, yeah, whatever. Yarn dev. Now it's going to work. Come on. I have to note, even though you know Nuxt has a lot of very nice features, it's like twice slower than um, Next.js. Has still not enough words here. Okay, we got this scale, we got this domain. Okay. Date, so we got the sizes. Uh, how did we calculate the size again? It was. Or, I mean, we had some large scores there, so. Okay, there we go. I guess the text was too big. But we now have a nicer image. So we have the. Uh, SVG here. Yes, we don't really want to append it to the body, or maybe for now it's fine, right? So we don't really care about the UI as much. Uh, we need to scale the score just a tiny bit. Um, our, let me see. So if we log the top words, words, what was the scale there? So the highest one is 200, the lowest one is like three, two. It's too small, so we're gonna make it 14 is the lowest one, right? Let's try that. Build, rerun. Okay, that looks nicer. I mean, the fact that this is a game is not really useful for us, but uh, once again, you know, if you add the better uh, keyword extraction algorithm, you're gonna get better results here. So not our target really here to um how to say to achieve the best result yeah let's put it okay we can actually now kill off this bit yeah okay good we got that and then uh the other thing that I think would be interesting to see is the correlation between um, article scores and sentiments. So what I want to do is build a chart here that will have article score uh, according to the Firefox, right? We have the article scores from the, call it the Open Critic. I believe we should have it somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, we didn't we didn't select it, right? Well, where's my MongoDB tour? So um, tiny. Let's see, we got articles, and we're just gonna take one article, uh, copy JSON. Much. I'm gonna insert it over here. JSON. Okay, and we have a score. There we go. Um, I am gonna go ahead and add the. Select stuff. Let me say I want score one, right? So we want to select a score as well. Restart the server. Okay, server's up. So now if we reload that, we should get a score here. Yes, we have a score. And uh, we are gonna we are gonna add a second chart that will correlate those scores with, uh, I guess, total sentiment would be what's interesting. So we're gonna say, is it you know negative, positive sentiment, and what's the actual score? Because like this reviewer gave it eighty, but it's actually negative in sentiment, which is kind of interesting. You know, makes makes you wonder. Okay. Um, right. So let's see D three JS chart. Bar, I guess bar chart is what bar chart example. 
Simple bar chart. Yay, that's what we want. Okay, we don't need stop words anymore. Um, there is my code. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we don't care about format. So we create, um, I guess we should move that into sort of separate component probably. I guess, yeah, I guess component would make sense, right? So it's gonna be, let's call it word cloud view. I'm gonna copy the whole damn thing here and it's gonna say ID word cloud, which is not exactly scalable. I mean, that means we won't have more than one here, but uh, it doesn't matter. That works for the purposes of this demo. This stuff, we're gonna, we don't need any sync stuff. Um, and the props, right? And the props is going to be data because we're passing the data here. And uh, we can kill this content block. And uh, we need to do what? We need to say select hashtag work cloud. So we select by ID, select our work cloud thing. And then in here, we can kill all of that. Okay, we don't actually need mounted anymore. Bring anything. Uh, we can kill all of that as well. So our index page would actually be, or game page would be nice and small. Then here we're gonna say, oh yeah, I think we need to, how does it work and not? So basically we just need to render the component, right? Uh, let me see, started configuration. Or is more as uh, dark, yeah. An example with a component is document layouts, default layout, custom layout. No, pages, yes, there we go. Page, no, an example with components somewhere on, gotta be right. Examples, custom component, cat, no, on. Custom hello world, yes. Look, oh, Glitch.com. Yeah, by the way, pretty nice website for quick code edits. Uh, has some funky design, but it works pretty well. Okay. No, that's what I want. Custom routing, custom pages, there, sync data, sync store. Um, <laughs> why why you have to be like this github show me github okay uh next yes let's see uh examples let's see uh cached component pages where do you use no that's not what i want to see custom layout custom loading custom build dynamic components Show me how to use a bloody component. Imagine you import it, right? We got the data component with the data component, and let's see index import JS messages. Okay, so you import okay, and they use dynamic import. So this is the dynamic components. I guess we just have to import um word out from components word cloud view, right? It's gonna be word cloud data find data, right? And then find it. Think that should work. No. That's not okay. Oh, about data or what? That does not look like a nice property passing. Um, or is it? No, wait. Find. I forgot. How do you pass stuff to the components? In. We have this work cloud thing here to render anything and it has a terrible property. Okay. Uh, 
or if you even need to no, you should import right because otherwise how it would know unless it loads all of the components which doesn't make any sense okay um now i am confused some better example nested components or let's have a look at the nested page so okay here he uses a post component and he imports post from use the components need dot view at the end okay got that let's have a look at the post component what is it templates or default props okay that looks also fine so why doesn't it render any question is so the log this data have an impression okay so this is not triggered at all uh, maybe i am forgetting view life cycle uh blah, 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 blah. Oh. instance um what am i doing wrong here no hook so data created or mount yeah so it should be mounted right no computer properties components or does components do components have a different thing so they have template components blah 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 uh return data yeah, yeah, yeah whatever template props no make props bind or you can shorthand for bind yes um now muted validation uh, methods props okay, all the same i mean theoretically you should have mounted thing as well right here yep otherwise that will be very strange uh, and you can use the same mount point and dynamically switching between components. No, that's not what we want. Fail to mount. Components mount function. Uh, calls view JS calls component in them from blah, blah, blah. component instancing. Yes, this is what we want. Core concepts. Uh, ta -da. Okay. Uh, this data methods method computed all the ones on your templates memory it doesn't help at all component so dynamically component um, is there an on mount component options that run function well yeah that is what we want let's see muted methods component yeah create okay so it has created but not mounted interesting so let's see if that works no that is not it doesn't seem to get triggered at all right okay Ready is one. Oh, mounted is so it does have mounted. What? I am very confused right now. It does have mounted, but it not get triggered for some reason for default props. Yes, do we import word cloud? So maybe it wants the lowercase. Is there a problem with um? This control origin close that we no, we need simple bar chart so this is the component yeah okay but they don't really trigger i mean the question is word okay so it does this uh no access control origin oh i forgot to add control origin to my server and it doesn't work client side which shame so fastify course thingy for fastify 
specify contain course. Uh, I could take roadmap. Okay, so that where's my specify yarn on course. We can plug this in. The uh, course this. So it would be better to do our roots course okay. working let's reload something and we're actually able to refetch the data which is great okay so now why doesn't it render anything why there's no console log or anything or is there a console log um change something No, there is no, it doesn't log anything. Why now does this happen? It is the same in one and two. Mounted is in two. Read the immigration guide on the website. Let's see. Mounted not working. Yes. Much I'm looks like I'm not the only one. No, it is rendering, but it's not triggering the function. Uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, export name blah 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 help just a prop value in my um what me there's nothing to walk mounted data hasn't really seemed like it's working I mean, theoretically we'll do the server rendering or server rendering in this case right so I guess we don't really want to do to render this on server. Oh, I guess that might be the problem, right? Because it tries to render all of that stuff on server. And that's why that's why this might be failing. What we're gonna do is do it. Let's try this. We're gonna do. Like this we do conclude it basically we would have to be uh, I mean obviously you can patch that by uh, making the UG oh, sorry d3js working on server but that would require creating like a server canvas and going into server-side rendering depth and you know I'm too lazy for that so we're not gonna do that gonna use computed stuff here and uh okay there we go so now fetch loads on the client side theoretically object promise oh it is ah right ah oh, man it doesn't support a sync data oh god okay there was a view sync computed plugin i believe uh that fixed that can use that now compute it so we're gonna be our ads compute it this this and it's gonna be index because why the hell not so we don't really need the morphic fetch here anymore our components we're gonna patch this and then Usage, it was you have a sync computed data and in template. Need to do anything in the template on things, all right. Okay, cool. Should work. Dev. Ah, let's see how that goes. Okay. Um, yeah, object, object. That is not. Oh, right. I am idiot, and I'm returning the wrong thing. Okay. Um, still nothing happens, but is think. 
Why is this a thing? You, come on. You're supposed to be working out of the box. Okay, um... I am used right now, so, I mean, renders work cloud component, it binds the data to it, but the data, for some reason, is stringified, and it's just a bunch of objects. Doesn't want to work. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make the component fetch, fetch its own data. So we're gonna just pass in, right, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Say data, and say game ID, right? And we're gonna pass in this game ID inside, let the component do the work. Because screw that, I'm not gonna spend half an hour figuring out why the hell this doesn't work. Okay, so we're gonna say do that, no, do that, yes. Computed much okay. In this case, we're gonna be doing this, this, and we're gonna call data. Uh, no, the D, right? What was the game ID? In that case, it was 413. Hard code that for now, and then uh, take it from the router essentially. Okay. Now, data should be, uh, okay, got to rename it. This should be a data option should be a function that returns a per instance value in the component definition. Um, property or method is not defined and is, no, it does the uh, file. I did recompile. Going on, I am providing game ID now, right? I do. Props is game ID, as in computer is now data. So, why? Game ID, yes, yeah, so why? You, you are more confusing than everything I worked with before. I mean, okay, maybe not as confusing as React. But still, this is not very straightforward. Let's put it this way. Uh, no, that's not any. Those error messages are so obscure. You run time. Yeah, that doesn't help me where this message comes from. Generator bootstrap module. Okay, that is not helpful. Data option should be a function that returns a per instance value in component definition. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we can go even Jupiter and do this way because screw that I'm again gonna spend so much time figuring it out I don't think it's worth it yeah okay it has to be a thing okay again there's no more data thing we're talking about where, where did you find the data Data option should be a function that, oh, is that because of, oh God. Is that what you want? No, for reals. Okay, now you actually return proper stuff. Problem was not even in this component, which is, yeah, delightful error messages. I'm getting cranky, sorry, <laughs> all my headaches. Okay, so now we got the word cloud, which is not rendered. Next, yeah, and pages empty. Okay, so we got this post view thing. Right, so what am I doing wrong? Why is it not rendering my component? Post import post from the import. Oh, ah, okay, now I see. I have to say that it's the most obscure way of providing components for your page they could come up with. Okay, there we go. 
read property filter of now. Okay, this something's happening now. Uh, 54. What is this? Uh, this data is now. Okay, which means, uh, which means that we want to do this, right? Uh, found it. So we're going to do this and this data. Yeah. It works. Okay, we defeated the Vue.js. It's not working. Cool. So we got this bit. Now let's create a for chart view. Lazy copy all of that stuff here. But we don't need cloud here. We don't need stop words here. We do need config, I guess. Call it chart config. Call it or chart we actually i mean problem here is that right now this gets the data right but we actually need to use that data both components which is not nice at all okay let's see can i actually think anymore can i actually provide Provide some data here. Good. Try seeing computed once again. Data. You turn this right. Okay. Filter of now, filter of finding. Okay, so when when it's mounted is not the right thing here, basically. Life cycle, so we need on update or something like components. No, it's so bad. You know, life cycle, come on. Yes, view instance. This is how you call your life cycle methods, is because we, well, of course, we use um, updated. Okay, let's update. Okay, load, and now nothing happens. Why? Because I don't know why. Mounted before update, before destroy. Before update. So we do get the data, we do get the component. Now we bind the data to it. It has the data prop now. Bring the mount. Now it works. Now it doesn't. Um. All right. I do this. It doesn't work. Okay. I guess this is because when it's mounted, it already there is already so basically what we need to say if if data link right. There we go. Okay. We somehow worked around that. Now, um, for components, plugin sync. Uh, okay, import core chart from components core chart. Okay, um, core chart. Yeah. Chart. There we go. And we render the score chart again. Data, data. There we go. Okay, good. Now score chart. Let us score chart next, which should not be too hard. Ah, uh, this stuff. SV data. Not what we want. Is there a simple? Yeah, that looks uses as well or something. Yeah, it's TSV. Ah, uh, barger V4. No, we need V3. Uh, we are using V3 sadly because we need that for for the 
Quark cloud, right? Which pointing, but whatever. Okay, data TSV. Oh, it actually seems to be just a loader, so we can take that. We can use that. Why not? So we can this. We have the config. Const by linear scale. Start. Start config. Yeah, come on. Eight, right? Create the charts. Charts. Yep. Okay, I kill that stuff. I actually need that. Yeah, we need the data. Fix this here. Yeah, okay. I don't need that. Okay, we don't need words. We don't need word maps. So we can kill all of that. We can kill all of that. And we have a nice clean component with a chart created. Cool. Get the data. This is what we have. Okay, let's see. Why domain max data? Um, so this in our case is gonna be D. So this is determines the maximum, right? And in our case, if it's Firefox, it's gonna be D score. Okay. Uh, data length uh, sure that sounds fine so we got the bar chart select data g and our pen transform once again we can convert those to arrow functions so they are a bit nicer go okay good Act. or 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 plus three or so theoretically that should actually render our chart, right? Very selector of undefined. Oh yeah, I forgot to no, I didn't. Or no. Oh, okay. Oh damn it. Or chart, right. Great property options. Option. You read property options from. Um now yeah let's talk about good error messages. Very probably query selector of undefined. Oh I am trying to construct a chart or it is actually mounted. You want to do right? Okay, reference data is not defined. Um uh, uh, of data this it width is not defined um one two, okay good eight is not defined here now ah here we write that to um, arrow function as well. Why the hell not? Or so what we also would need to change is the color of the chart, right? It is not here now. Okay, you could have compiled already. Uh, that doesn't really look like a chart. And rec. Okay, so try to take this. Ah, oh, okay. First of all, this thing we don't have here. Not cursed number. Yeah, okay. Where's this type used? Value. Oh, okay. This is parsing function, so we don't really need. Um, okay, what else? Five hundred. Let's try that. 
looks like forced to be as it is SVG, but it looks very weird. Okay, then are we missing some missing some CSS perhaps? Art or chart, right? Okay, it became smaller, but that doesn't help us. The chart height and construct Y here as well because done. Okay, so this data is our 155 reviews that can or among others and total sentiment so why okay select all g data okay id score chart so could be working theoretically is it d3gs4 here problem um no, V3, okay, so V3, you working. Okay, let's see, so we kill that, we got the, ah, it should be SVG. Might be the problem. There we go, um, that looks okay. That is not exactly useful, but um, yeah, the numbers are way too small. I guess we need scales, right? So this, what this is fading. Well, I guess this is the main. Okay, so this is what we want, I guess, right? It should be one because we're running from zero to hundred. And X the main X the main E we use the label here title. Wonder if that would be too much. Now let's see. Help. So there's some changes here. So we enter append G transform it. Button. Date, okay, append rectangle. So this rectangle is our thing. And then we append the text. It's alpha this. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, maybe it's just too small. I mean, we can try to thousand maybe. Yeah, that looks nicer, but still too tiny. I mean, there's just too many reviews in this. Basically, we have to. I guess we'd have to group them by the number. That will probably. But we want to see actually. Well, one is the color and uh, okay. 
Okay, so what we want now is to pick the color depending on sentiment value. I mean, total sentiment would probably be negative, positive. Color. If sense. If red, if in, otherwise, theoretically, that should work, right? Um, fetch is not different. I think refresh. Okay, I think fetch is not. Oh, I guess. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, I need mutable. The morphic fetch. Okay, so I guess maybe we could say. Positive is going to be green. Negative. We could. Our. Right, to do is we can say attribute pass class would be better. Um, and in this case, we can actually. A we don't even need to do that, right? Put the sentiment in. Name the, the classes according to the sentiment. And it have to be capitalized. So positive, negative. That doesn't work. Why? Why not setting fixed form? Um, yes. A second, let's see D class. A way to set class or pre class no. Uh, 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 uh. Guess we need MDN help. I'm not working with SVGs that much, so that might be my problem. I class. BGS rect class. Um, oh, we can try to set fill. Uh, okay. Try that fill. Okay, that means we have to roll everything back, which is. Fill. Delete that. This and that doesn't work anyway. Tribute fill, uh, let's add the attribute fill blue or does the overrides it? <gasps> yeah, it works. Okay. Cool, so that green blue blue here. Okay, so there's actually just a bunch of reviews that are in this non positive, really. It's very interesting. 
empty sentiment. Undefined. Possible. We thought we calculated sentiment for everyone. Okay, so there's no sentiments beyond the first. Yeah, there are no. Okay. Huh. Yes, maybe our processing didn't really finish, but I think for another. Okay, uh, so that actually works. All right. Okay, so we created the word cloud and we created a chart that actually depicts, I mean, obviously when you have this stuff, um, we have to rename that page to game. It's one and take Nux.js and we have to replace this game. Right, so uh, see, they had a routing integrated, right? So, oh, nested roots. And uh, this is gonna be a little slug. So, we need game folder. Rename or ID. Put it into game. Oh, yes. How do I access thing there? Rams, no, validate everything. How do I access it? Um, this router or something? Log. Zoom is something. Yes, let's see. We're coming. Live development setup. Uh, where's the docs? Right, yes. Go. And this. Uh, okay. Put params ID. Put params ID. Okay. Want? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just read. This thing here, and it works. Cool. So split that, and then we need the index page. Are we yes. We don't need any components here. Who here? We do need is. We will need no. We don't need as a morphic fetch here as well. Basically, what we want here is the search bar, and uh, what do you call it? And the request to the server, right? Which is pretty. So let's do this really quick and uh, wrap up. I. Okay. Here's the question. Yeah, there was a view material thing. Material. Website. Started. View. Imports. Okay. Now, component. We want input. I think they even have the input with. Um, did they rolled out the final version, or is that? Oh, this is a beta. Okay. Like, if you have the latest version, why do you have a beta docs on the main website? Auto complete with fetch. What we need. 
um, the import container, yes. So we're gonna put this here. Search for a game. HV model, okay. Data. Turn. I'll come you. And methods find theme. Think. Okay, uh, whoops. How does it work? This program query was going to provide a query. In this case, value is going to be a weight fetch used for search, find game, search. Search. I have to remember how do I do I was post body I think I'm forgetting something. Always end up googling fetch post Jason. <laughs> okay, uh method post. Yeah, I mean, we don't really. I think we just can. This at work. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Start that. Uh, oh, there's a version. Okay. Yes, we're going to try. New material beta, maybe that doesn't mismatch. But uh, material beta, yes. Okay, and we need to import this separately, okay. That. That's how the complete works now. I sure hope they didn't change the API too much. Text would input the uh, message. Now, actions are complete now. Did we move it or something? Oh, okay, it's now a separate component. Fuzzy mm -hmm. loading. Okay, I'm able to complete that. This model um, value is um, inside. Okay, this is, ah, okay, they changed it. So it's no longer, so the value is going to be thing. Option is going to be games. Going to be get games. Uh, opened, we're not going to do any. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. Fine. Game. So how does the API works now? Uh, get country search term. Okay, so just search. Great. So that. Okay, please tell me there's no version. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're not going to use that. Auto it. Okay, this way it works. Q2 auto completes.
Um, it work. I get data. Get the and data. Complicated. Maybe there's something simpler. It so. You know what? Why not? Let's just go with this. Uh, tendencies were not found. Oh yeah, right. Move that stuff. So we more. Turn auto complete. Say component. It's here or only do that. Copy that. I L or find game. Well. Hope it's optional. Select. I mean, I'm not interested on select, I'm more interested on request. URL star. URL must be active. And if it's JSON from this URL by passing one RAM queue. Uh, we can tweak our, I guess we can tweak our backend to accept that. Right? So, gonna get stuff? Yeah, it's gonna. Okay, we can do that. Okay, let's try that. Uh, okay, that means URL is gonna be local boost thousand search right select game log link here and we don't need this as well i mean this is kind of not work def please tell me there's no mismatch oh for fuck's sake Hold again, view to autocomplete GS. How can you not work with two minor version changes? This is what Semver is for. Why? Okay. Do that. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to write my own autocomplete and screw everything about this. Input type text folder find game. You might think or games like here. Ah, right. Okay. If formatting again for some reason just work to make it go like find key key um this shortcut yes find game this Uh, model is gonna be query. Not value. Value. Okay. That stuff because this is gonna cost here. That uh, our dev. 
we gotta finish this today. I mean, <laughs> we want to wrap it up. Okay. Um. Come on, pick it up. Ah, did, uh, did I forget to remove it? Yes, I did. Yo, reference error. Auto complete is not defined. I ah, uh, I don't. Did I do have it here? Okay. There we go. Um, find game is not defined. Wow, find game. Okay. Um. Ordered media time. Yes, it wants headers. Need content type in this case, I think. Uh, we do not send empty stuff right so this is the first thing we have to do let's try all this three why is it on click when it should be Press event. And handling, yeah, okay. Uh, we need to on enter press, right? Key press. And why is it not on key? Key modifiers, automatic key fires. Oh, okay. So you can just do that. Yep. Oh. That is great. Like that. Don't need the. So on enter, it's gonna do for us. Okay. Search. So what do you not like? Post. Processable entity. Yes, we need. Oh, yeah. Let's probably I write this. Okay. Loaded that thing. Okay, we got all the games. Jason, these games. Uh, okay. Hey, okay, we got the games, and now we just need to um other link, right? How do I do routing? Uh, do they have an example of how to do a link here? Even though the docs looks really nice, I'm so liking uh, Next.js right now because their docs are so much more easy to understand. Yes, I have to go look in a view router, right? Add any more view router. Website, website was here. Uh, getting started, yes. Much router link. Okay, where did I get that router link from? Yes, it's integrated. Hope so. Okay. So we get to game slash. Oh, so I guess it finds to. Game plus game ID. One from me. Add it. Ah, there we go. Here. Okay, and press this two. We get to the game page. Ta da! Done. Okay, cool. I think that will be it for this course. Um, whoops. I mean, we built the basic thing. Salt, search, and basic. 
this place word clouds and four uh, chart rest what did we do with the rest added course add course okay um basically it so i think that's gonna be it for this specific um course and as i've discussed it before i'm thinking about moving away from those longer courses and doing just one-off videos uh where we have basically a better discussions about stuff uh do let me know what you think about that and thank you for watching and i see you next time bye